Yo, so we got a question from our buddy, um, Mr. Parkour, he calls himself. And essentially, he's fallen in love. Now, our buddy is kind of what he calls an introvert, right? And there's this girl that he's been sitting next to in class for two years, and he fell in love with her instantly. She didn't know, only he did, because he never professed his love. And he's been watching Elliot Hulse's videos long enough that he has come to the realization and has built the courage to speak his heart. And he's told his love, he's professed his love to this girl that's in class with him. And she friendly, kindly turned him down. And now he's distraught. Essentially, his heart's been broken. He put himself out there to be challenged and hurt. And now he doesn't know, like he's at, he's, he's at a loss. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know how to go about proceeding with the girl or to, to ultimately get over the situation or end up having someone else to be his life partner or girlfriend, you know? And I'm assuming this is probably like one of, one of your first girlfriends. Look, dude, one of the things that I want you to recognize is that every single experience we have in our lives, everything that we go through, both positive and negative across the board serves two purposes. The first purpose is the more superficial one. It's the one we're focused on. And that purpose is to give us something. Either give us uh, a new girlfriend or to give us, you know, a, some sort of success, right? It's what we get. It's the attainment of the goal. It's that thing that we can tangibly say, yes, I have attained. The other thing that all these experiences offer us that is very different, it's far more subtle, but thousands of times more powerful, potent, and transformative for you in your life, is who you're becoming through the challenges, who you're becoming through the experiences. So I've once heard that if you take someone who's a millionaire, right? Someone who's gone through all the challenges that it's, that's required to build a million dollar business, become a millionaire. This man has a million dollars, right? In his hands or in his bank, he's got a million dollars. He's attained the goal. He's gone through everything that he has had to do in order to get that thing, right? Just like you opened up your heart, that's what you had to do to ultimately or hopefully get that thing, your girlfriend, right? Didn't work out that way, but that's okay. If you take all that money away from him and you take all of his connections away from him and you put him in a foreign country, within a year, he will be a millionaire again. The reason why is because he's the type of person, because of the experiences that he has had, that can make a million dollars. He's a million dollar person. It's not the million dollars that matters so much, it's that you become a million dollar person. Now, to become a million dollar person, you've got to go through some penny broke days. You've got to go through all sorts of ups and downs, challenges, disappointments, minor successes and setbacks to ultimately become a million dollar person. You would like to be the type of guy that can approach women, create a relationship with one, and whatever your aspirations are with regard to how you want to proceed in that relationship with her, and, and, and that sets in your heart is what you want, right? Maybe you want, maybe you want to have a life partner, you want a wife, maybe you just want a girlfriend, maybe you just want to get laid, whatever it is, that's your thing. But you're gonna to have to go through several, you're gonna to have to fall down and hurt yourself a couple times in order for you to become that type of person. Because if you got what you wanted without the challenge associated with the pain and failure that you're experiencing right now, it wouldn't really be yours. You wouldn't be able to appreciate it the way you should be appreciating it, the way that God or the universe wants you to appreciate it. Now you might say to yourself, oh hell yeah, that's bullshit. I really love her, I really wanted her. If I would have had her, things would be exactly the way I want them and my life would be great. What I'm telling you is no. She was set there as a opportunity for you to scrape your knees, grow stronger, based on the challenge so that you can try again. And you might need to try. Now here's the thing, when you try again, you already have the experiences associated with failure. You won't make some of the same mistakes, right? Now don't get this twisted. Putting your heart out there is never a mistake. Opening yourself up 
To even get stabbed, even get hurt, even for your heart to get trampled on is never a bad idea. Always open your heart up. Never become callous in your heart. Do it again. But the lessons you should learn are how you go about opening your heart, right? A lot of this is physiological and energetic. So breathe into your balls might be one of my pieces of advice. Breathe deeper, be more grounded, be more centered, be, have a stronger or more concrete intention when you approach the next woman. Which your, your situation with her is over. Even if she does decide to get with you again in any time in the future, if she just like, if you, if you said the right thing at the right time one day and she decides to get back with you, it's, the relationship will not be founded on strength, right? She will resent you in, a, in, su in some very subtle way for a very long time. You might end up getting with her several years from now after you've grown through the experiences of doing this several different times and you're a different person. She won't fall in love with you. She's not gonna get with you, who you are right now. She might get in, fall in love with a stronger version of you, right, that you're going to become by, through these challenges. Do you understand? So be grateful and I'm happy for you that she didn't give you what you thought you wanted. Be grateful for the challenge because in the same way that when you go to the gym and you challenge your muscles with greater and greater extrinsic forces, right? Basically heavier, heavier, heavier weights, you grow stronger every week. This was a heavy load for you to carry and you're still carrying. Gather what you need to experience from this, you know? Be very practical about it. What did I learn here? And what can I do differently? Gather that, make it a part of who you are. There are tools now. You now have tools to navigate the next step of this journey. And then do it again. And guess what? Put your heart out there and it might get hurt a second time. Cry, feel the emotion associated with it, mourn, and then do it again. And you might get hurt again. And you might get hurt 10 times before you find that one woman, that one circumstance, that one experience that transforms your life forever. And don't be fooled. It won't be that singled out opportunity. It won't be that 10th thing that made you happy. It would have been all nine that made you strong enough to handle number 10. You see that, buddy? Good luck.